There was a time when Democrats led Texas. I was born during the Depression in a little community just outside Waco. But 25 years, a generation has passed since Ann Richards was governor. You know, in 92, the Democrats were still in the game. Hello, Fort Worth. And since a Democrat running for president visited our state in the hours before an election. By 96, it was all gone Republican. Wednesday brought new signs Democrats might be back in the game. The Cook Political Report, an independent nonpartisan newsletter that is respected by political scientists. They do have reliability and they use the kind of standard scientific measures we like to see. Move Texas to toss up in the race for president. And Kamala Harris announced she's visiting McAllen, Houston and Fort Worth on Friday. But this was the indicator that we've been looking for. I said, well, if you see Joe Biden or Kamala Harris here in the final days, that means it has gotten close. But how close is anybody's guess? Texas's new toss up status is in large part because of heavy early voting turnout by a lot of Texans who've never voted before. Polls can predict their behavior, but they can't promise. What ultimately matters is what happens when you and I walk in to the polling place and nobody else knows how we're going to vote. Teresa, this is the most uh, intense guessing game that I've ever seen because you have a quarter of the vote that you has no history. So everybody is really making things up at this point. Calling Texas a toss up does not mean it is turning blue. But for the first time in a generation, the outcome is not a foregone conclusion. In Fort Worth, I'm Teresa Woodard.